Well, this one took me a while to get into. And anyway, who ordered the Match 4 game with big pointy nails in? My name's Kanan, and this is Puzzle Battle. Engage. Story, and this is going to involve the blurb. Aside from her crippling debt incurred by splurging on snacks and diet products, they don't go together, do they? Mirai, 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 whatever her name is, is just your average girl. Then, one day, she is forced to save numerous princesses who have been snatched away. <coughs> okay. And with that um, interesting story, why not like and subscribe for weekly content? Now let's get balls deep into the gameplay. Well, it's one of them match four or more in most directions to do damage and heal oneself. Well, these games sound boring when explained, don't they? And unlike your normal Borefest match free, PB has you moving the pieces around the board as you wish, as in from one end to the other if you wish, by just holding down a button. Oh, and match three of the colours enough and you will unlock three extra powers, like do more damage or bunny slaughter shield as I like to call it. And well, fuck me, I was well close to actually just doing a 60 second review on this one. Onwards and upwards, eh? Match to do damage and to heal yourself, which kind of helps for that staying alive thing most games require you to do. As you may have noticed, this is all done from a side-on view, and unlike most of these games I've played, it's a whole lot of hard. And when I say hard, I mean it took me so many tries to get past the first boss. But it's that difficult, I have not even completed the whole game yet. But I'm still going to give it a score at the end because, well, I have OCD and I'd feel bad if I did not. Okay, so where the bloody hell was I? Oh yes, it's certainly a challenging game, I can tell you. It even feels unfair at times, and kind of like if you don't get the right tiles falling, then you're pretty well fucked. In fact, it is kind of exactly like that, as I tried several times in one bout, and it wasn't until I got loads of hearts in one game falling that I actually got past it. So is that fair or is that unfair? Tell me down below. So, yes, this, as you can imagine, kind of pissed me off a lot and was not the ideal for keeping me playing. It's not that the game is bad because it's not, it's an alright game. It's just really challenging, even more so at the beginning when you're getting used to these powers and everything. I did enjoy what I actually played, but I have a feeling it's not actually made for people like me and that's sort of like, you know, people that aren't really into this match four and above type gameplay. I really wouldn't have minded so much if there was a little bit more skill imported into the game, but as I keep saying, or as I said before, it kind of like has this, if your tiles don't drop like you need them to, you're pretty well screwed. Visuals and them sounds. Well, if you're into those anime things with basic graphics and kind of like tiny characters and all that lot, well, you're going to get yours off here because basically that is what this is. Very basic looking graphics, simple within their uh, looks and everything. And yeah, it's not a bad style. It's just not one that I really particularly go out and seek out a game because it's like that. But it's got that Japanese manga type feel to it, which is okay, isn't it? Sound wise, well, it's kind of in the same ilk, isn't it? And kind of not my style <laughs> also, so. Uh, but then again, if it's your Earl Grey copper, you're going to love it. The good. If you're after hardcore match up game, ta da! I think there's a big market for these games. In fact, I pretty well know there is. It's strangely appealing in a weird way. And it's got bosses. What more do you ask for? Quite a bit, apparently. The bad. It's definitely not for everyone. It's overly hard. It definitely has an element of chance or and luck, insert wherever you wish, within it. The score. 
3 out of 5 is definitely the best I can go on this one for myself. I think it's hampered by not being my sort of game, number one, and number two, that sort of like luck feeling that you really need to have the same or the right things falling for you to actually make progress in the game. And for people like me, that's kind of a big deal. Alternative time? Well, that's coming soon. But until then, like, subscribe for more weekly reviews and sales videos. And as for the alternative, well, if you're a little light-hearted and shy away from a challenge, you're best off DLing Candy Crush for your little mobile phone. Or you can go for Secrets of Magic 4 Potion Master. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know many of these games. I'm not even going to pretend that I do. But if you've got a better option, then go ahead and leave it in the comments. And while you're down there, for now, for now, yes, joke, joke, drop your, yes, I'm getting there, thoughts, get your minds out of the gutter on PB as well. You're welcome, and <laughs> thanks for joining me. And feel free to join the Switch Heads community Discord for even more talky-talky. Because life is better when we switch together.